Hey, hi everybody. Good to see y'all. I am doing a hair tutorial today for my luscious little curls here. So let's just get started. Hello, so I have just come out of the shower and what I used today was the Tresemme um, shampoo and I believe it's for touchable softness and other times I use the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Treatment Shampoo. It's just a purple shampoo to keep my highlights very pretty, very toned. And if I get out of the shower, I usually will put this on, which is the Not Your Mother's all eyes on me it's just a 10 in 1 leave-in conditioner so i'll spray it after my showers if i'm letting it air dry but i am going to be blow drying my hair today so what i will be using is the silkening blowout cream it's a priming and protection and it's made by madam cj walker so i will put that through my hair even though it's wet, I'll put it in. It's supposed to help protect from the heat, help with blowout, uh, you're blowing out your hair. So I'll just run that through. I'll get a round comb and I will just blow dry my hair with the round comb. I intentionally will go against my hair growth. So if my hair, I've got my part off to my left side so I'll pull my hair with the round brush over to my right side. It creates a lot of volume and uh, it helps whenever I'm, you know, trying to get that really bouncy look. And then sometimes I'll just kind of, you know, run through it real quick. Short hair usually dries really quick, so <laughs> it's not too big of a hassle just to kind of flip my head over and then just blow dry it that way as well. I usually just do it this way just so I can get the extra volume, make sure everything is dried off before I apply a any kind of heat styling tool to it. Alright, great. Now that that's done, I will put a Tresemme heat protectant all through my hair. I'll just spray through it and then just run through it with my fingers. This is so important, especially when you have long hair because it protects the, from the heat. Um, my curling iron is just by Conair. Trust me, I have no idea what kind it is. I've had it for forever. So, you know, no idea. But it is a half inch barrel, has a little clip, and I won't go over 310. I can adjust the heat on this one. So I usually go to about 310-ish. I usually don't go over that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start from the back. And I'll just grab a chunk of hair. I really honestly can't see. Um, so I will just kind of feel around and just grab a chunk of hair. Um, I usually don't make it pretty thick or anything like that. Maybe about an inch width. I'll just grab that piece and I will put it in my clip of the, of the curling iron. I'll pull it down and just circle it away from my face. Um, so all of my pieces go away from my face and you could potentially just, you know, alternate it. That way you have a lot more, um, a lot less of a uniform look, a lot more natural looking. Um, but what I do is I just open up the clip a little bit while the curl's still in there and then pull it. Um, I feel like whenever I've done this, like, oh, it's like a little pigtail. <laughs> Um, that's the curls I usually get through my hair and so usually when when I would have long hair I would alternate um, going away from my face and going towards my face so it's still the same method I would use um, I think with just the the short hair I just always kind of curl it away from my face and you can do either way um, but whenever I have it clipped in like that and I put Pull out the curl without unclipping or creating a little bit of lack it uh, kind of hurts I will definitely you know get a couple of strands that hurt and so that's why I kind of um, unclip it and clip it again that way it creates some slack and I can pull it without it feeling like someone's ripping my hair out and 
Whenever I grab my chunks and I put the curling iron in it, I will pull it all the way. <laughs> I look like a Karen right now. God. Or like Justin Bieber. They're basically the same people. <laughs> and I will just pull it out. I mean, I get really big curls from that. And you can kind of see kind of messing up because there's a couple of chunks in there I didn't even grab but yeah it all kind of falls in whenever I'm actually done with it so whenever I am also grabbing these I will leave an end chunk so I definitely implemented this a lot more when I had longer hair because I had more hair <laughs> first of all but that little chunk right there and whenever I'm curling it and I let the curl out, it kind of gives it a little bit more of like a more, you know, natural looking curl. No curls are going all the way through to the bottom. Um, so that's why I leave that chunk out. Um, with a bit of my longer pieces, you can definitely, you know, tell that I do that. Um, this is the bangs part. It's all still the same. I don't do anything different. Um, there's, I just know that sometimes it's easier to also see what we're doing with the front. But you can see all of my curls are done away from my face. So that way they don't, um, get super, um, all clustered into my face. And yeah, no one wants that look. But as you can tell, like, my curl kind of get, gets like this, like, wavy. I really like that, like, sea salt wave look always so that's why i pull out that little chunk makes it look really uh, natural and then oh. this is like the same thing that i used to do with my long hair too so this is applicable to both short and long hair So then for kind of just styling it, I really just run my fingers through the curls. That way it just makes them a little bit more relaxed. And then I'll put in this Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I'm not sponsored. Trust me, I wish I was. But I'll just spray that and I'll just kind of crumple my hair a little bit and just kind of put that in there. It kind of gives it just a bit of a texture, keeps the curls pretty bouncy, and it smells good can't complain here's a shot of my curls and I really don't put any gel or anything like that um, it's just not really my thing kind of just let my hair do as it pleases um, sometimes it's for the better and sometimes it's for the worse <laughs> clearly so I'll just shake them out and I kind of just let my here as long as I can get my hair on my face and not look like a crazy person usually that'll that'll be it that's usually all that I do I really cannot tame my hair my goodness oh, okay there we go well I hope you guys like this tutorial please leave me a like comment subscribe see you guys next time